Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Finished reading Judges chapter 9, and oh, it was so good. It was so good. It's just this little compact story about a jerk called Abimelech who is a son of Gideon, who is, um, he got the nickname of Jeroboam, and he's referred to as Jeroboam throughout all of chapter 9. And it's just this magnificent story. Like, I'm seriously considering, no lie, actually taking all the characters and like keeping the story completely intact but just changing all the names, all the locations, and add a lot more like, you know, personal touches to it because you get the overarching picture here. But like add some personal touches, get to know some of the characters, blah, blah, blah. And it's just this great story of horrible murder, someone basically cursing the other person who killed their family, and then there's betrayal between the people, like the guy this guy called Abimelech and the people who conspired against him to kill off this other guy's family, which by coincidence were actually also his brothers because they, they had the same father, but Abimelech was the son of a concubine. So it's just this great story of how Abimelech does this horrible thing of killing all this guy's brothers. The youngest hides and escapes and he he like finds them, he rushes out and curses them and tells them how bad they are. He runs away because he's scared of them. They reign as king over Shechem. Is it just Israel? Is it just Shechem or is it all of Israel? No, it says Abimelech reigned over Israel for three years. So apparently that one little fight at Shechem gave him pretty much all the tribes. And yeah, he was put in his place quite nicely. I don't want to spoil the story unless I rewrite it for myself, but then it'll be... With different characters and places it'll be a different story i just love how just mm, how outright this story is and how amazing it is and how it's just a great story of how the bad guy gets what's coming to him in the end there's so much i feel like just lessons i could take out of this but i just wanted to kind of geek out over how amazing the story is and how the bible really is interesting sometimes it's not always begets and genealogies and lists and numbers, and construction work, and all the boring stuff we normal people can't use. Sometimes there are some really sweet stories, and some sweet prophecies, and some sweet songs, sweet wisdom, sweet encouragement that all of us can understand and get. I'm not trying to put down a single part of the Bible, because it is all good and it's all worthwhile, as I did explain in an older video, but there are some parts that are just so amazingly good and so much fun to get into and read. I can't encourage it strongly enough. Get out your Bible and read it. If you want somewhere to start, start in the book of John. It's the story of Jesus' life from the Apostle John's perspective. Again, good story stuff. Just good personal relationships. Um, and seeing how Jesus interacted with the Apostles, how he was betrayed by Judas, how he died on the cross and then rose again three days later. Just some really great and interesting and not boring stuff. The Bible is not a boring book. 95% of it is like really solid, interesting material. You want to know what the story is? Read it for yourself. And maybe if I ever do do a remake of the story, I'll cite the Bible as my inspiration. And by all means, support me by reading that as well. And thank you guys also for supporting me by watching this video. I love you guys. God bless.